we're in the Steelworks Studios, which has been my studio here for uh, 23, 24 years, I think. We've had a fantastic run here. Throughout the 90s, we had a lot of success. I set myself this target of having a number one by the time I was 25. The irony is everything changes went to number one on my 25th birthday. It led to sort of working with Gary and that led to co-writing because I was producing the, the album. Say You'll Be There was uh, one of those that we wrote, actually wrote in my house um, prior to having this studio. And what was amazing about writing with the girls was that they would just sit there with five, five of them with their notepads, throwing out ideas. And as soon as everyone got in sync, it just flowed really easily. I think the next one was at five with one of the lights cut. That's club seven with their first number one. Picture of you with Boyzone was not long after that. And then straight after that was Billy Piper. When You're Gone was one of those that came right in the middle of all that time when I was having a lot of pop success. I actually got a phone call from Brian and I, I actually, I think I swore at him and told him to F off. And he just laughed and I said, why would Brian Adams be calling me? And so literally, I just got in the car and drove over to Manchester and, and, and saw Brian and, and wrote some great songs together that ended up being a smash and just sort of lived on radio. It was one of those that just felt like it was made for radio. It was a movie, actually. The movie was called Bobby. It was about the day Bobby Kennedy was killed. My Lord, I have read this book so many times. And Aretha apparently read the lyric and has been quoted saying it was the best lyric she's read in over 20 years. That's going on my tombstone. And then Mary J. Blige wanted to be involved. And you know what's beautiful about that? And not only did I mean, it went on to win a Grammy, that song, which is incredible, but it's actually become a really important song to a lot of gospel choirs around the world. I'm totally, thoroughly excited about being involved uh, in the Wentworth Music Festival and can't wait for next year already. Um, the guys involved have been great friends for a long time and um, I'm actually going to get to perform, which is great. I, I don't do that very often, but uh, when I do, it's always with a great bunch of musicians and quite often invite some of the artists I've had hits with to come and sing them with me, or if they're not available, I'll sing them myself. But it's always a bunch of songs that everyone knows and can sing along with and have a dance with. It's really entertaining. I, I just can't wait. It's going to be a fantastic thing, and uh, I urge you to get tickets as soon as possible.